side of Nikita Mazepin and Hubert saying, thanks very much, guys. I will go past one of you <laughs> and then wait for it. Going down the hill, he's got one of his old GP3 rivals. He's not going to go all the way around the outside, is he? I think yes. he might do. Oh, wonderful stuff Brilliant from Hubert. Stuff. Perfectly judged. And he'll be glad that we caught that one. He'll want to see that back <laughs> later on. Yeah. Uh, and that last lap, that was quite a, a big sort of difference there with the Schumacher and Matsushita. Yeah, Matsushita taking time out of him yeah, by about three tenths of a second. Probably, Matsushita launching the charge. Probably the biggest chunk we've had over the last few laps, that's for sure. It's been between one and a half, two, but that was sort of a good nearly three tenths. Uh, four tenths. Uh, He's not difference. giving himself much of an opportunity, is he? He's basically giving himself turn one on the final lap of the race and defining corners coming up for Mick Schumacher. If he's going to stand on that top step in a few moments' time, he's got to be able to do what he's done all race long and be significantly on terms with Matsushita. You can see sector one, four tenths of a second. It's Matsushita trying here. Can he stay close here? That's the defining part of the race. Well, that's always going to be the problem because obviously, you see that drive once again. Mick comes out of that turn really, really good. As we go into the left hand and behind the back of the pits, Again, he gets that drive again. He's got a really Ooh, good slightly, back end on that car. Slightly wide there through yeah. the final corner. Similar twin, twitch. though. The Matsushita twitch. Yeah. twitch when he was getting on yep. the power. This is the 28th and final lap of the race. DRS for the second place man. Chasing down Mick Schumacher. He's not going to be close enough. And Schumacher just has to hang on now. Keep it clean because that was the last traditional overtaking opportunity. DRS again now for Matsushita to close in. But now surely it's a Schumacher error. That's the only thing that can deny him. Yeah, again, as I've been talking about most of the race, that rear end on Mick's car is really paying dividends. And he just always has enough going into turn one. He shoots out of one into two, and there is no chance there for Matsujita to challenge him in any way. Really, really nicely controlled. So Mick Schumacher came into this season with an awful lot of hype behind him. He's suffered the rookie campaign that some drivers can often have. But right now, today, under huge pressure all the way through from Matsushita behind, an expert around this circuit, a multiple race winner in the past. He has propelled, and Matsushita knows that he's not going to be able to get the move completed. Are gone. And there we are, the moments then for Mick Schumacher to enjoy. The Ferrari Academy driver in his father's old car one week ago in front of his home crowd. And now he has taken all of that momentum, all of that enjoyment and delivered on the racetrack. Mick Schumacher has one corner to go. This is the 14th and final corner. There's the checkered flag. And Mick Schumacher crosses the line to win for the first time in Formula well to done, raise mate. a cheer from the crowd, and you have just watched a Schumacher win on a Grand Prix weekend for the first time since 2006. Yeah, pretty classy that, wasn't it? Really that was well such controlled. Such a good drive from oh. Mick Schumacher. You can see what it means to him, pointing at the team as he went across the line, and he controlled that one perfectly all the way through. And under the surname pressure at the start of the season, in his 16th start, Mick Schumacher is the winner. Yeah, uh, uh, just a brilliant job. Uh, the control of it was lovely. There's mum there, Karina, which is going to... She's going to be a happy lady, that's for sure. And uh, I think... That's not, that's not her. Uh, overall, it's just going to be something that he really did... I don't know, control that in a manner that you sort of didn't see earlier in the season. And I think that's just that maturity that has, I think, happened in a very quick time. Yes! Yes! Good job, good job. Good job. <laughs> Great job, thank you. Woo. You can hear what it means to him. Under pressure all the way through. One lock up would have gone. One mistake through turn 14 would have been vulnerable. And when you've got the experience behind of Matsushita setting camera in King for a rookie driver, it's a super result and one that the fans can say we saw victory number one in F2, the reigning F3 champion, opens his account in Formula 2. Yeah, and, uh, you know, that confidence he's going to get from this, I think, is going to be very, very powerful for him down the line with the remaining races that we got. But uh, I think for the whole Schumacher family, I think it's just a wonderful, wonderful result. It's a wonder wonderful result for motorsport, to be perfectly honest. Look at what it means to those lots of so many Ferrari flags in the grandstand. The marshals applauding him. 
Matsushita offering a thumbs up as well as he goes past. And it's been a tough campaign. There's no getting away from that for Schumacher. This was the first opportunity, the first realistically uh, open opportunity he had to win a race and he's done so he's converted it to bring the crowd to their feet there on the left hand side you can see how many marbles were discarded left and right but it's germany's mick schumacher who continues the family dynasty victories in formula one of course for ralph as well seven championships for his father and schumacher on the grand prix weekend across the f2 season now delivering is he your driver of the day johnny oh definitely so yeah i think it's just it's so similar to what i remember with michael michael always did his own race never really sort of tried to sort of overdrive the car in any way he only drove what the car was able to give him and i think that's what we saw today from mick was very very good at just being consistent but most importantly making sure that those tires had grip so he had that traction to control the race like he did the whole way through very impressive so many fans at that final corner it is a fantastic sight to see them up on their feet <laughs> he loved it there here to support sebastian vettel later today treated to a schumacher victory and matchishita on the left hand side set a camera on the right had no answer for the man who you have to say was in control and he barges into the number one board, not out of anger, but out of sheer exuberation. For the first time in Formula 2, he will get out of the car on the podium. Not only that, as the race winner. Mick Schumacher's done it. He's a race winner in Formula 2. And remember what we saw from him last year when he came on strong in the second half of the season. He will try and do a repeat performance in Formula 2 this year as he thanks the Prima team that took him to victory and he's a little bit uncertain of what to do. Wonderful stuff, so many Ferrari personnel down there. John and Lacey congratulating him, great to see. And uh, do, you, do you think it might make headlines around the world? Look at how many photographers are <laughs> out there for Mick Schumacher. Well, he definitely will in the motorsport world, that's for sure. And I think, you know, the name Schumacher, you know, he's got a great history in this sport and Mick continuing that. Saying congratulations, nice to see the sporting conduct between the two drivers. And I think Matsushita would have expected to be able to overhaul the rookie, but he wasn't able to. Mick Schumacher's got the crash helmet off and he's speaking to Rosanna Tennant. Mick Schumacher, you are an F2 race winner. How does that sound? So professional. <laughs> Ah, it sounds great. Uh, honestly, amazing race. Uh, I mean, that was great. Thank you for the team uh, for delivering a car like this. Obviously, credit to uh, Nobu who kept me yeah, entertained. It was not easy, uh, you know. So, yeah, no, really just happy. So much pressure from Matsushita, as you say, but also pressure from the surname. How fast was your heart beating in those last few laps? Yeah, quite hard. Uh, well, quite fast as, as well, because obviously the tyres were degrading, it was not easy to keep uh, keep them alive, obviously also always having pressure, uh, always checking the mirrors was, was for sure, yeah, entertaining. And I think entertaining for the crowd here, huge Ferrari supporters out there, did you take that all in as you were coming in? Yes, definitely. <laughs> well done, congratulations. Uh, Nobu Matsushita, congratulations, you're an expert around here, uh, is it true to say, looking at your tyres, uh, did you run out of tyres? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was pushing so hard to overtake Mick. But he did an amazing job, so uh, there's no mistake from him. So it was a fantastic from Seth. Hi. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, and finally, we'll find Sergio Setti camera just lurking behind me there. Uh, Sergio, uh, an unexpected podium for you today, perhaps? Uh, well, not really. I, I hope to be in the podium. I hope uh, to maybe get the victory. I'm not usually optimistic, but not that, uh, not that negative. Uh, I know I have a great car. Dums is a top team. And uh, when you're starting from, uh, from fifth, it was, oh no, fourth. So, uh, you always have the shot to get the victory. Um, of course, I, I knew the start is the biggest place to get the pos those positions. I made up one place. And uh, to be honest, I thought I could maybe challenge for the victory. Um, but uh, yeah, Mick did an amazing job uh, because he put a strong pace in the front. I tried pushing uh, Nobu in the, in the beginning of the race uh, so that he forced Mick to, to go into tire degradation. But he seemed to hold on. And in the end, I'm the one who suffered as well with a bit of tire degradation. But you know, the car is always great in the race so it's always I know I'm I'm always gonna finish so yeah I'm happy with the podium but I maybe we could have challenged a bit better 
Well done, Sergio. Great synopsis. Thank you. We don't need to guess about Sergio Sete Camera's race. A detailed explanation of what happened there and entertainment for all of those in the grandstands. I hope you enjoyed that at home as well. So the top three are making their way up the stairs in the uh, old pits building here. This is always ever present, uh, this race on the calendar. It's never dropped off since it uh, first held a race here back in 1986 for Formula One. And Schumacher, Michael Schumacher, one of his greatest ever wins coming here in 1998. He won his fourth world title here in 2001. And now his boy Mick Schumacher taking victory. There's the live points. Nick de Vries ahead by 30. That's a great margin to have at this stage of the championship. Set a camera in third, jumping ahead of Luca Giotto after his podium today. Let's just see if there's anything to hear in the cooldown room. I think you had many more laps on the vehicle on his there as than I had on yours. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was backing off to get something there. Yeah. I'll be real quick. Surely Mick Schumacher knows what to do. He won plenty of races last year. In, uh, in Formula 3, and he's opened his account in Formula 2. It's a late point surge to take the title with five races in a row at the back end of 2018 that saw him take the championship there. <laughs> by displaying the car that his father took his seventh title in a week ago. And now about to stand on the top step of the podium. That's a pretty brilliant seven days if your name is Mick Schumacher. It's nearly time to start our celebrations for the second race of the weekend, starting with Sergio Sete Camera, who is going to venture on to a F2 podium for the 15th time in his career. Matthew Schieter, where well, you could see that he gave it absolutely everything, but he had no answer to Mick Schumacher, who is going to stand on the top step of the podium for the first time in F2, and he will hear the German national anthem. for me is when they go in that cool down room there were footsteps of dad who walked out around and onto that podium as well so it's it's just a wonderful moment for the Schumacher family and I think here uh, for us in Buddyville. So that is the shot from the podium then. Uh, thank you very much to Johnny for his insights today. Uh, historic day and a great way to end the championship before we have the summer break. And we will confirm the result for you in a few moments' time as they make their way from the podium. Prima celebrating there with Mick Schumacher, who poses for the photos. 
We've got a Schumacher on the top step once again. Here's the race result. After 28 laps, Mick Schumacher with his first victory in the category ahead of Nobuharu Matsushita, who gave it everything, just came out uh, in the end, 1.4 seconds short. Sergio Sete Camera, another podium for him. Jordan King in fourth, Aitken in fifth. Nick De Vries outscoring Nicholas Latifi. He takes a 30-point lead into the final stages of the championship. And then uh, Giotto with the final point ahead of his teammate, Guan Yu Zhou. Callum Eilock was 10th. And then Hubert in 11th, Lacey in 12th, then Delatraz 13th ahead of Juan Manuel Correa, Nikita Mazepin, Arjun Maney, Sean Galeo, and Ralph Boschong. Mahavir Akhmethan was the last finisher. Tatiana Calderon had a clash with Maney and retired from the race. And so it's a three-week break now as we go into the summer holidays, and what a way to finish it then. All those Ferrari fans leaving happy after seeing their academy driver take the top step. We've had a Schumacher take victory to round out the 16th race of the F2 season. We'll see you in three weeks' time when Formula 2 returns.